Okay, today's video is entitled AC Inductive Reactants Part 3. And in this video, we're going to determine the current through a relatively simple inductive circuit. This is the situation we have. We have a 2.4 Henry inductor, and it's connected to a 230 volt AC source. And one of the frequency source is 50 hertz. What is the current in the circuit? Now, I just want to point out, I didn't say for the voltage source whether that's the RMS or the peak voltage. Just remember, if you're given the RMS voltage, then you'd be getting the RMS current. If you're given the peak, then you'd be getting the peak current. You may have to convert one to the other, depending on what you're given and what you're asked for. So please be careful. Don't mix up your RMSs and your peaks, OK? Current, we can get from Ohm's law v equals I times R in this case. But we don't have a resistive circuit. We have an inductive circuit. So we're going to substitute XL, the reactance of the inductor or the inductive reactance for the resistor R, resistance of the resistor, and we get that V equals IXL, X being the symbol for reactance. Solve for the current, V equals, no, current is equal to the voltage divided by XL. And we don't know the inductive reactance, but we can calculate it because we're given the inductance of the inductor, and we're given the frequency of the source. So this is the equation we're going to use. The Inductive reactance is equal to 2 times pi times F times L. L is the inductance of the inductor. Inductor, excuse me. And you simply get that that's 2 times pi times 50 times 2.4. And that tells us that the reactance of the inductor is 754 ohms. Substitute the values in. Voltage 230. Inductance or excuse me, reactance of the inductor is 754 ohms, and therefore the current is 0 0.31 amperes. Okay, that's all there is to it. Ohm's law, pretty straightforward. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please do all the following three things. Subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.